This Prime Minister knew he was tanking in the polls and he had to think up a plan and he had to think it up quick, just like the good old Grinch. So he says, I know who I can exploit. I'm going to go to the leader of the NDP. He will never be in power, so I will make him an offer, make him think he has power, and that's what I'll have to keep myself in power. In case an election is called, this is how I'll do it. Every single day, I get calls. Why is there not an election? Why is there not an election? Why is there not an election? We are done. We are done. Everything has an expiration date. Every single thing. That Prime Minister is long overdue his. But he's in power because, you know what? This Pharmacare bill, bill is a big piece of it. So, the leader of the NDP signs a coalition. And you know what? Maybe he had good intentions. Maybe he thought he was actually going to help Canadians. And maybe he thinks he's going to get something out of this. Which I, I thought at the beginning of my term, and now I know, nope. Power. Power and control. That's what we want. That, that is what is the driving force for the leaders of the NDP and the Liberal in this House. The Pharmacare bill is yet another marketing slogan. Sounds wonderful, but like everything the Liberals announce, they promise you one thing and they deliver another. In so many instances, they actually deliver nothing. The leader of the NDP sold his soul for this bill, and it is sad because he's also sold out Canadians.